I find it very hard to see that Angela Merkel is a realistic candidate in 2016. Every year you publish a speculative shortlist for nominations for the Nobel Peace Prize. Who do you think will be most likely to be nominated this year? Well, I have a number of favorites on my speculations list, but on top I have Svetlana Ganushkina. Uh, she has stood out over the past year, year and a half in, uh, in defending the rights of migrants in Russia. She also has a long and distinguished uh, career behind her as a human rights and democracy activist, uh, a founder of the uh, uh, organization Memorial. So she has a lot, uh, there's a lot of reasons to, uh, to, to see her as a favorite, but the reason she's a favorite this year is the work she's done for migrants and refugees, obviously one of the most pressing issues of our time. And who are your other favorites this year? On my second place I have uh, the uh, leaders of the peace process in uh, Colombia, President uh, Dos Santos and Timoleon uh, Timoshenko, who have been uh, leading the FARC guerrilla and the um, Colombian government towards a peace treaty, but which is subject to a plebiscite on the 2nd of October, so only five days before the uh, Nobel announcement. So I suspect that if the Nobel Committee wants to uh, have them on top of their list, they will need to operate with a backup in case the plebiscite should uh, be negative. And I noticed that Edward Snowden is still on your list even though he has moved further down this year. Um, he's been nominated a couple of times. Do you think he still has good chances? And Snowden is a very interesting candidate and he speaks to one of the most pressing issues of our time, namely the use of surveillance, the um, right to privacy, the right to free communication and that is in many ways uh, linked to peace. But of course, one challenge is that Snowden is also seen by his uh, own country of citizenship, the United States of America, uh, as a traitor. And, uh, and it's no secret that Norway is a close ally of uh, the United States and the Nobel Committee is composed of people at the uh, intersection of uh, Norwegian mainstream politics. So it's uh, very hard to envisage that the Nobel Committee would end up with a decision. I do think Noah Snowden's candidacy will be discussed. Uh, I would be very happy if the prize goes in his direction, but uh, he is further down on my list simply because I see that the obstacles are also considerable. And what do you think are Angela Merkel's chances this year to be nominated again? Well, to the extent that Angela Merkel had any chance, it was last year, I think. This year, uh, the train has uh, passed by Angela Merkel. Uh, her stance on uh, refugees, which was an important voice in that debate in uh, all of Europe, perhaps or even across the world, in uh, 2015, doesn't really um, have the same penetration globally today as it had then. So I, I find it very hard to see that Angela Merkel is a realistic candidate in 2016. What do you think is the significance of the Nobel Peace Prize and why is it still relevant today? The Nobel Peace Prize is broadly recognized as the world's most prestigious prize. Uh, prestige itself, of course, is not a goal, but it brings attention to uh, important issues, sometimes to long forgotten conflicts, sometimes it brings into the limelight uh, uh, activists who uh, are otherwise not known to the rest of the world. So I think the Nobel Peace Prize is important. But considering the situation in Syria with um, a civil war going on for more than five years now, what do you think is the resonance of such a prize? Well, I think a prize to uh, to somebody who works on the conflict in Syria, somebody who works in the conflict in Syria for that matter, would be a very important signal and could instill at least a little ray, or ray of hope in what otherwise seems like a rather hopeless situation. Uh, a favorite candidate, one that is lobbied extensively for, is the Syrian civil defense, the so-called white helmets. Uh, and I think they would be a very worthy winner of the prize. When I haven't placed them on top of my list, it's simply because I think uh, 
a prize to a new organizational candidate may not be uh, the way that the Nobel Committee wants to go. Organizational prizes generally draws less attention than uh, prizes to individuals. What was the most important moment in the history of the Nobel Prize for you? Oh, there have been many, many, many important moments. Uh, the uh, Nobel Peace Prize to uh, Kailash Satyarthi and uh, Malala Yousafzai, for example, uh, was uh, a very moving moment. There were very strong speeches. They both are remarkable individuals with strong moral integrity. Uh, and just seeing uh, their commitment and learning from their reflections uh, from their own communities, also reaching out across the uh, deep divide that exists between Pakistan and India, uh, was to me deeply, deeply moving. And what do you think were the most controversial nominations in the history of the Nobel Peace Prize? Maybe Barack Obama or Henry Kissinger? In hindsight, the Nobel Peace Prize to Barack Obama uh, has not fared all that well. It's clear that it was uh, too early. It's clear that Barack Obama has not been able, as a president, to deliver uh, on the expectations that the Nobel Peace Prize raised. And many in the United States, including uh, warm supporters of Barack Obama, would in fact uh, argue that the prize weakened his ability to... Uh, to carry out his program as a president. So that clearly was a mistake.